Hey guys, Bing here. So yesterday we modeled this um, adaptive pentagon shape. So we can create, we can place it with two points, and then it will change the size. Okay. So today uh, we're going to make it like because uh, for the for this shape, dotec hedron for this shape we will need to uh, rotate it okay so now let's go back to this family and uh, select those two points so I'll move them uh, to the middle for now so it's easier to select them so for these two points so previously we set them to 180 um, actually it doesn't really matter. I'll change it to zero. Okay, so see, just flip. So now we want to build a um, parameter. So this angle, let's try 45 degree. No, that's fine. And you will see we have this interesting shape. It's not flat anymore. So. Um, the reason for this is so we have this point from this point, this point from this point. So if you look out, I'll select this always to sh always show reference plans and uncheck the so 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 uh, yeah so it's already unchecked. So if if you you can see. This reference plan, so this this plan, so the one I'm showing you now, this a work plan, it's not parallel to this one, two, and one, two, uh, uh, hell, one, two, and three points. So one, two, three points. See and, and see, you can look at this work plan, it's not parallel, so that's why. So, this point, the last point we create, is not parallel to the rest, so that's why we, we have this shape. So, when it's when the, these two points are at zero degrees, so they are aligned, so that's a perfect surface. And to, to fix this, um, actually, I can spend an hour to try to find out why. So eventually, I find that if I move these two, uh, so I move this, it does matter. So when you have these two, where you place these two um, reference point because yesterday I, I said oh, it doesn't matter so I just place it randomly but uh, today I just figured out that it does matter so you need to place them just on a, a vertical straight line so now if I go back here select them and give an angle so you will see this this work plan now aligned to this point, this point. So now you can create this perfect shape. Okay, so yeah, make sure these two points are straight. Okay, so you can you can just place them, or you can just place them on this reference plane. So that's easier. I'll just play them. So okay, so now. Oh, uh, do we have that parameter? No, not yet. Select them and create this angle parameter instance. Okay, and okay. So now move them back. So typing zero. This one one. Okay. So now this is a perfect shape with the angle parameter. So we can load this into this family. So now for this one, I'll just change that back to zero degree. So that's the uh, base of this uh, dot dot that 
sorry. <laughs> Draw deck page. Okay, so now we need to place. And also, uh, I'll go to the another page here. So that this is a regular dotac page, room. and then, so that's an angle here. So I'll, I'm not going to use this angle. I'm going to use a cosine this one. So I think I think it's more accurate to use this. And also, this angle is between like this face and this face. So this angle between these two faces. So now if I go here, create a new face. Okay, place on face. I'll pick S use S E, select a snap endpoint. One and S E and pick tab. So now we have this one. So I'll just change this to zero and see where it sits. So it's right on that. So which is okay if like in 100 it will go down so which means we need a negative uh, negative of this angle so i'll type it equals negative a cosine bracket negative one divided by sqrt phi so I'll copy this in case I need it. Control C, apply. So now this is on. So this angle will be one uh, one hundred and sixteen something. So let's place the next one. So create component S E S E. Oh, actually, before I place this, I'll just delete it because. Place component. I'll just copy paste it in, and then S A S A. Okay. So in the next one S A S A S E S A S E S E. Okay. So we have. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we need another six. Okay, so one. Ah, it's one. So the try this one, two, this one. This one, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Oops. Looks like I typed twice. So sometimes when you type uh, multiple times, uh, um, it will go different way. So just make sure they all the same. S E S E C S E S E S E S E and the last one S E go that way. Uh, let's try. Nope. Nope. Let's see. I'll, I'll tap it back here and tap it here. Yes. So now we have this uh, uh and it's also parametric. So if we see this one first, this is the first first uh, pentagon shape or place so if if i drag this oh no 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 tab drag no no no, no. um i'll i'll temporary harness the rest and uh, if I, I can drag this one to make it bigger and the hr so see this shape become bigger so the easiest way um i'll just place two points here so one two and select them, make adaptive, and now select the this select the, the, the first one, pick new host, pick one point and two point. So now we can uh, easy we, we can easily um, adjust them. So okay. and also uh, so this is actually it's 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 okay to use. So you can just um, if I create a Project and uh, we 
you can just place this family so you can place it like this so just two points and yeah so if if you don't want to have some numbers there you can marry top in the size so you can just have this family so you can make small one by just pick this and or big one yeah um but if if you want to have something uh a instant parameter to where you can so you can type in you can uh you can do what you can do is go edit family so instead of these two uh, uh adaptive family sorry adaptive points for him i'll instead of delete them i'll pick new host and place it under so i won't lose all this and then i'll delete these points um i'll go to probably i'll just draw where's my reference plan yeah did i just delete it no, that's fine i'll create one okay so default origin default origin or just ping them and what you can do is go i'll create a reference line circle here here and then so this will be the radius r uh, sounds okay and then so you can have divide just divide part make it five and then you can uh, go pick this select this first one and uh, let's let's try if, see if I can pick new host on this um, not quite right let me go back up see pick, place two points on this okay so and then try to pick the points pick new host one and two still not right go back this time i'll temporarily hide this divine pass and also temporarily hide this uh only have these two points so I'll turn on the reference plane and see if it will work so and pick new host this time um let's try again one two ah what's happening which one so this is zero zero go ah it goes 90 degree maybe i'll just type in 90 or negative number next no, negative 90 in the h file so okay so now let's let's um i think that's pretty much down uh, let's load into project delete 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 oh good uh, let's create one so uh why uh, why the point is on this side anyway so this one's already down so we can change the size yeah, but we need to figure out why when I place this family it's it's, it's changed it changed again it looks like every time it, oh if if we change the size of this let's go back to these families sorry um I don't know maybe that's a invisible something like internal uh, origin or something there but oh, default origin mm. anyway i think i'll leave it to you so uh if you find if you find out how to change the like internal original something of this family 
please let me know otherwise I think this family is, is good to go so I'll try again so this one so C is so C is here and if oops I can't see it C is yeah it looks like it stay in one spot and when it if, if the size become smaller it's still there so yeah so okay that's that's it for today yes so you can create multiple one and then you can have different size it's parametric and also those points maybe you can Oh yeah, that's the default. Oh, div oh sorry. Click here and I'll check the nodes. Hello back. So you won't see them anymore. So that's it for today. Um, if you have any question, please let me know, and I'll see you next time.